What if I told you that there is a super easy way to create sound effects and sound design without having to search through hundreds of randomly named files, whether they are on numerous hard drives or even subscriptions to various sites for royalty-free sound design or sound effects? Yes, there is a solution to this. Whether you are a content creator making YouTube videos or you are making full feature films, shorts, even podcasts or audiobooks, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own Foley with just a few clicks of the mouse. And you can do so with already created presets. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben Silverman and I thrive on helping everyone gain access to new tools that will help give them superpowers in whatever creative fields that they are a part of. Now don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything in AI. I also have a toolbox that you can find in the description of this video. I keep it updated with all the latest news tools and workflows so you don't have to go down all the various rabbit holes that I have. So the tool is Krotos Studio. Now I'm going to just jump right in here and show you the website then I'm going to jump into the application and just show you how it works. It's super simple and intuitive to use. If you come to this site you're going to see that this is what it is. Uh, you can add custom sound effects to your videos effortlessly. Okay uh, look at this right here it scores of presets infinite possibilities uh, it's super simple. I'm just going to jump right into the plan, but you can see right here that it's trusted in Hollywood, Disney, uh, EA, Epic Games, Frontier, Microsoft, all these places are using it. You can use it anywhere. It's DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, Pro Tools, Reaper, uh, Final Cut, uh, Avid, Vegas Pro, anything that you can imagine. And it's so simple to just drag it in to any of these pieces of software as you create it since it's a standalone device. Now, you're gonna come to this site, you're going to download it. It is a subscription-based system. If you come right here, you'll see that there is pricing. Uh, it's $14.99 right here a month uh, or $9.99 built annually. Uh, you can use the code UNLOCK currently and that'll give you two months. Uh, I'm not sure how long that will last. Uh, if you're watching this video a lot later than when I'm filming this, I don't know if that will still be the case, but try UNLOCK as the code and that should give you two months completely free. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive right in here to uh, Croto Studio. Here it is. Uh, you'll see right here, it's just super simple. On the left-hand side, you have all these different items you can choose from, which consist of different uh, elements to each one of these, like ambience, you have city, forest, suburbs, countryside, and all of that, cinematic, seismic blast, dark entry, eerie scene, footsteps. You've got uh, boots urban, boots urban, boots indoor, boots heels, uh, heels indoor, shoes urban, uh, foley, you have all these things like cloth, hiking cloth, basic cloth, basic cloth, rustic door, security door, whoosh. Um, over here, you'll see, uh, you'll see these are two uh, areas where you can actually identify certain elements within the foley that you want to use. Uh, let me show you for instance, okay? So if I'm gonna make a city, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click city, then I'm gonna click right here, I'm gonna click start. That is the city regular. Now, if I want more of the skyline, I'm gonna add this, but if I wanna add more traffic to this sound, I'm gonna just drag this over into the bottom and then I get more traffic. Now, if I wanna add more sirens, into this. You have sirens and you have horns, right? I could drag this closer towards sirens. Or horns. You hear that? Now that's the siren coming. I want more skyline versus traffic. Now if I wanted to move into the forest per se, Now we've got birds, more birds. I want more wind now. Maybe more stream. You hear it? You hear that? Maybe I want animals. There's more birds. If I go to the suburbs, traffic, kids playing, dogs maybe instead. 
maybe a mixture of dogs and kids playing. Right, maybe a mixture of birds and traffic. Right now I could go to cinematic, right? Get the seismic blast. If I wanted that, it's like a bass hit. Tonal hit. Now this is the bass rise. Dark entry, there's so many different things. Now let, let's just talk about footsteps for instance, right? Footsteps, literally all I have to do is pick the type. So shoes on an urban environment right here, you just walk. Now, if I'm on concrete, broken glass, slush, metal, just like a Foley artist would do uh, when they are recording something like this, right? And now you just watch your film and you just can, right? Now say I want sneakers indoors. Now on carpet. Or tile. Running. Now if I want to do some Foley, right? Here's a, like a hotel room door, for instance. Now it has different type of elements for each thing. So like right here you have close, open, key card. So close a door. Open a door. Key card. You could change the pitch. There's sliding doors here. Open. Whooshes are pretty cool. Like here, right here, if I wanted a fire whoosh. Now all I have to do is drag this across. So you could just play around with all of that. And then you could trip, like if I wanted it to be big fire. Sizzle. Stones. Bonfire. If I want it to be more airy. Vent. Wind. Room tone it has. Drone you have. You have weather. I want wind, cold, right? From the forest. And then you could change the intensity. Wind trees. It's so simple and intuitive to use. And then once you figure out what it is that you want, you literally just drag it just like this. You just take this and drag it into the program of your choice. That's, that's it. So you could literally just watch it, drag it in, and you have it, you can create your own Foley, you could upload your own Foley, they have all these different presets for you. It's outstanding. So if you have a project that you're doing, whether it's a YouTube video that you wanna add sound design after, it's like instead of downloading all these sound libraries, just come in here and make the sound that you need and move on. Uh, it's pretty intuitive. Uh, I hope you all found this useful. Subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna add this to my workflow in my uh, AI toolbox so you can make sure that if you're in the post-production process, you know that this is an option for you, okay? It's a really cool tool. So if you're doing sound a lot, I would definitely take a look at this.